Hello dear friends, this is Boyan from Dynamics Audio. I would like to touch some simple but very important subject that many users simply ignore for some reason. However, it impacts their playing and what is most important for us, it impacts the way our products work when installed in their keyboards. I will be showing you this on my Yamaha PSR SX900, however, the procedure is exactly the same on Genos, very very similar to Tyros and older PSR models. The operating system can look different though, but do not get confused as it is just an environment design beneath the fancy GUI, all those keyboards work exactly the same. Also the same applies for Korg and Roland as well, I will talk about those keyboards later in the video. As you already know, the keys on our keyboards are velocity sensitive. Each keyboard has more than just one setting of velocity curve, so depending on which setting we use, the keys will react differently to our harder or softer playing. It is crucial to make this setting right for us, so the keyboard velocity curve matches our playing style. I would like to point out that there is no right or wrong here in general sense, as it is a personal thing, everyone have different needs and wants his or hers keys to react differently. So this video is all about showing you how you can make the keyboard react the way you used to, not which settings you should use. There is two ways to adapt velocity curve of your keyboard to your playing style. One is on a global level that changes the curve for a complete instrument and the other one is for each voice independently. It is important to set the global settings first to match our playing style so we can play the way we used to and then only if needed we can adjust velocity curve in each voice separately but in most cases this is not needed as most factory sounds and custom made voices are made to work very similarly. Let's start with this beautiful Magic DX piano sound we just made for Yamaha, Korg and Roland. This magnificent electric piano sound will be available for sale very soon. It has 8 velocity layers so you can clearly hear how the sound character changes depending on how hard or soft we play. Now let's press menu and choose keyboard joystick settings on SX900, as I said it is the same on Genus and very similar on Tyros and older PSR models. Also for Korg and Roland it is located under global settings. Here we have 5 settings for touch curve, which is a name for velocity curve for our keyboard. It is by default on normal. I will now play the same part with 3 different settings so you can hear how it impacts the sound character. This is with normal. As you can see, I need to play a little bit harder on keys just to get those upper stronger velocity layers from this sound. This is maybe too wide for general purpose and this type of keyboard. And next, uh, this is with hard settings. Hard settings are even more wide than normal, so to get the upper layers of this instrument playing, you will need to press the keys much much stronger to achieve some dynamics in your playing. You can see how strong you need to hit the keys just to get those upper velocity layers of this instrument working. And this is with soft setting.
you can now see how dynamics change but I do not need to strike the key so hard. I usually set it for soft 2 which offers me to play dynamically without need to strike the keys very hard to get those upper layers of the instrument. As I said, there is no right or wrong here. Soft 2 sounds the best in this case just because it reacts well to my playing style. It might be totally different for you. I am used to some great keyboards of the 80s, Korg M1 or Yamaha DX7. Soft 2 reminds me a little bit on those and that's why I use it. The right way of choosing which setting is the best is to try all different settings and choose which one feels the best for your playing style. I usually play some factory piano or other instruments with more than one velocity layer, then I change from hard to soft and see which one suits my playing style the best. Now let's go to the other way to control velocity sensitivity, but this time it is independent for each voice. Press menu, then voice edit. On Korg you can change this by pressing the sound button, then find your sound, then press menu and choose amp tab. There you will find velocity option, so you can set it lower or higher. For Korg it is usually at 70. So by using smaller numbers the keyboard gets less sensitive to your input and vice versa. Here you have two options under common, depth and offset. Depth changes the velocity curve from linear to exponential, while offset shifts velocity curve up or down. I suggest you to use the depth slider and go up to make velocity less sensitive and lower for more sensitive. I will now play and adjust depth slider so you can hear the difference it makes to how the sound reacts to our playing. As you can see it is very easy to tweak it and make it the way you like so you can match your playing style with any sound, factory or custom voices. As I already said this is all very personal and that is why sometimes our customer contact us and ask why the sound does not work well. It is everything okay with the sound of course, just our playing styles are different and that is why the sound does not react as shown in our video presentations. For example, if you use soft 2 but our customer uses hard 2, there will be a huge difference in how the sound reacts and feels. This is how our customers can set the individual settings in each voice to adapt it to his or hers playing style. It is of course an official procedure, you can check all Yamaha's internal voices, each of those have different settings for depth and offset. Engineers at Yamaha did this on purpose to match each sound to some universal velocity curve, however this is not carved in stone as you can adapt it further to your playing style. After you tweak it to your liking you can save it as a user voice or save it within a registration or vantage settings. And that will be all for this video. Thank you all for watching, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you get notified each time the new video comes out. Ciao!